Well, good evening, everyone. It's LB here again with another attack, and this is our first attack in this will be War 14. Uh, and I've drawn a Industrial Age point with some fairly developed defenses. So this is going to be a very tough attack. Um, I am debating the best way to come into the base. And I'm really kind of feeling like coming in from the north and trying to get a couple of uh, sabotage down on all these defenses in the box to the north of the town hall is probably my best bet to try to get in there for the quick victory and then try to roll it around to the clockwise uh, uh, approach after trying to um, get the quick victory and get out of the box. A um, little bit tricky though because the way this, this uh, I think this is a good defensive setup. They have four mortars that both on both sides of the town uh, center um, mutually support each other and um, that's a concern but then if I when I try to back out and go around my concern will be that uh, the there isn't any natural defenses outside of the base to pull my troops around so again I have to worry that they're going to come out of the box uh, and then go running right back into the box to try to go get um, defenses so it, I think it's going to be tricky to try to get around the base from the outside maybe uh, I, I, I may have to uh, try to look at it from a different approach here if I try to come in from the west that will put four mortars all attacking me at once because I'm not going to take any of those out right off the bat and the same thing you know from an eastern approach so that really sort of limits my approach attack to coming in from the south or from the north and if I come in from the south I think I'll come in from the southwest, southeast corner, try to go in that way, and then try to bounce it out around. And if I rally out back to in front of the Versailles, I mean, the problem is Versailles is going to slow me down. Um, but the Coliseum could pull my troops around, which is really all I'm, I'm looking for is one way to latch around so I can try to pull the troops around and go around the outside. That could limit me in terms of how far around the base I'll get, but I also think that it's probably the best approach to being able to do any kind of significant damage um, after getting in and um, getting to the town hall. But, but again, the problem from the south is that the town center is set back a little bit off the wall, um, which means that um, the only the only troops that are really going to be effective in attacking the town hall would be my cannons and artillery. I brought a little bit more art um, artillery this time instead of heavies, um, so that I can get more shoot shooters off. But yeah, this is going to be a tough nut to crack. There's no two two ways about it. I think I'm just going to see what happens in terms of maybe instead of coming in from the directly from the directly from the north if I come in through the uh, gold storage and the um, farm to the e northeast and, and breach a hole in the box that way and then rally myself out back around. That might work too. So, yeah, that seems like it's going to be a good, a better, maybe, be, a better way to try to handle it. And um, that's what I'm going to do. So, um, let's see what we can do with that.
I still want to get a sabotage down on the defenses inside the base because I'm going to not want to see those generals spawn. So you can see I have my two generals, um, Joan and Nubunga, Nubunaga. I have uh, my usual base army. Instead of, I usually bring extra heavies in my alliance troops, but I'm bringing artillery. Um, hopefully that works out well for me because this only gives me a total of eight heavies. But um, we'll see. A lot of work to do. It's going to be tough, a tough base, but uh, let's see how we get through this. Well, you see I'm running into a lot of trouble with my back troops getting split up. And that's going to be a problem for me. But some of them made it out anyway. I guess that's what I can hope for is that some troops made it where they needed to go, right? I still have a decent amount of troops left, and I have one leader left, and one general left, and I have carts now in the back working with that, and a lot of their defenses are down, so I think I'm in good shape for a four-star, which, uh, to be honest, I'm perfectly happy to accept. This was a very tough base, as I said, so, um, and right now the army is exactly where I want it to be, so that's good. Seems as if I only have the one cart left. I mean, the one defense left up there. I'd like to try to kill that. But I don't know that I'll have enough time. Yes, I got it. That was good. I saved my troops. Uh -huh. All right, so listen, 95%. I'm thrilled, to be honest with you. I lost my plane early. It came in from the wrong angle. I was hoping it would come in from the 
uh, east, but it came in from the north and, and, and drove over um, a lot of defenses that I uh, didn't think it would have to hit. But, you know, heck, that's great, great attack for me. I was really thinking, oh, this could be a one or one star or two star if things went really bad. Um, but everything held up fairly well, so uh, I'm pleased. Thanks for watching. Let's get those four stars on the board. And let's get it going, hunters. Um, this is going to be a tough, uh, tough war for the outlaws. Let's hope that we can uh, pull it through and uh, get a win.